The coronavirus crisis has changed America and the world forever. Who would have believed that three months ago that some, some Americans would not be permitted uh, by our government to attend church? Only 10 of you can go. That's shutting a church of 22,000 people down. But we are guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution that we, quote, and I'm reading this because I know many of you didn't learn this in school, Congress shall make no law prohibiting the free exercise of religion or of the right of the people to peacefully assemble. That's what you do when you go to church. St. Paul presents the law of God in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. He says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. Say that with me. Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. So man's law in this coronavirus issue was stay at home and save the world. Lock down for two weeks, four weeks, six weeks until I tell you you can get loose. Our government ruled as many of you who wanted to could go get whiskey. That was considered essential, but churches were not considered essential. They also ruled that you can keep Planned Parenthood, keep killing babies. We'll even give you $500 million to keep doing that, which is exactly what they did. But shut down the church that teaches six things God hates, and one of them is those who shed innocent blood. Our government released one-third of the criminals in America's prisons. Some of them were murderers and rapists. Some of them are out on the street now. And they put a salon owner in Dallas, Texas, a lady in jail because she needed to go to work to feed her children. Fortunately, we live in Texas. Our governor, Greg Abbott, and the salon owner got the salon owner released immediately. And our lieutenant governor, Dan Patrick, offered to pay her $7,000 fine and serve her jail sentence. That's the kind of leadership we have in Texas, and that's why we live here. The coronavirus pandemic took the world's greatest economy in a matter of days. 40 million people were looking for work. It's the worst since the Great Depression. As Americans, we have discovered that our political system is indeed saturated with tin horn egotistical petty dictators who are ready and willing to trample your constitutional freedoms away from you just that fast. Listen, if we do not use our freedom to defend our freedom, we will lose our freedom. Beware of those who seek to take care of you, lest your caretaker becomes your jailer. I listened to two doctors on Fox News confess that they had been pressured to record death certificates incorrectly, meaning that if a person did not have CV-19, they were told to record it as a death by coronavirus. Why? Because it ran the numbers up and qualified them for more federal aid. That message was knocked off of television in a hurry. Why? Because they want to make the crisis greater, to crush the hope of the American people through fear to control you, to extend this crisis all the way to to the November presidential election, if possible. A student of history And Bible prophecy, I have often wondered how long it would take the Antichrist to come to power. Now I know about 30 days. That's just about how long it took for the American news media to terrorize America's citizens into submission. General Jack Keane reported over Fox News, quote, China weaponized coronavirus to destroy the democracy's economy. End of quote. Think about that. Why now? Because of the presidential election to defeat President Donald Trump, who had the U.S. economy booming and was systematically destroying the New World Order. Why is this a dress rehearsal for the New World Order and the coming Antichrist? 